here. It's the semifinal matchup number two of the men's compound individual contest. As the two athletes take to the field. First off in target number one from South Africa. World ranking of 261 is uh, Gabriel Bradenhorst. And from the United States of America, shooting on target number two, it's Jesse Broadwater. And Jesse was part of the uh, American team earlier today that took the gold medal uh, along with uh, Rio Wild and Braden Galantine. World ranking, according to our stats, he's 31st. Uh, I believe he qualified in second, though, during these meets. So he's he's definitely uh, he's definitely where he belongs as far as the semifinal matchup and how well he's performed this week here in Torino, Italy. Sure, and he's one out of elimination. He actually shot a 150 out of 150 and a 147 in the quarterfinals. So yeah, you beat uh, Archer from Slovenia in that matchup. So it's. Uh, it's definitely uh, one of those contests where he has been on this facility a little bit earlier on in the morning, as you mentioned, and uh, maybe that plays uh, a little bit of a factor in his matchup here against these uh, opponent from uh, South Africa. Sure, I mean, his opponent from South Africa uh, shot uh, a team medal in Turkey, so he has been on the stage this year. Bradenhoist is the reigning South African champion. His best result in the international scene was fourth, actually, in the team event in Italia this year. He defeated, uh, nonetheless, the double World Cup champion Sergio Pani, as I mentioned earlier in the quarterfinal. Broadwater is a part of the American team who uh, won the Ogden World Cup last season. He's also the team outdoor world champion in 2009, seated number two after qualification here in Torino. And I guess it's safe to say he's the favorite in this match, but uh, as we both know, upsets can happen in this sport and we've seen it previously to this. We have indeed. 10, Touching the first shot. And Baden Horst is out with uh, two, two X's, two tens, right in the middle. Uh, and Jesse's already dropped a point. Snuck a ten there, I think, by Jesse. So he's got 29 for the end. They'll take a closer look at it, but I'm pretty sure you're right on that, Andrea. It, it really looked like it, it, uh, it clipped the line there for sure. sure. But for all intents and purposes, they'll mark it down as a, a nine liner and confirm the 10 a little bit later on. A nice opening from baden there. Should mm. settle the nerves a little. Yeah, no doubt about that. We won't need to look at the, those three shots. Those are perfect 10s uh, all the way down. And he will lead nonetheless. It's just a matter of uh, how many points he will lead. Sure, I mean, um, those of you at home, if, if the arrow clips the line, it has to be touching the line, you'll be awarded the highest score. Yep. So uh, the judges will take a look at that right now on Jesse's arrow just to see uh, whether it's a 9 or a 10, but I, I'm pretty sure it's a 10. Well, it looks like according to our scoreboard here in the facility, Broadwater's been awarded that 10. And you're absolutely right. 30-29 is where these two competitors stand after three arrows of play. So, Andrea, we, we have ourselves another tight match here in this semifinal number two. Yeah, I think we do. I mean, uh, Jesse's got by far uh, the more experience out of the two. Uh, but as we saw in the previous match, experience uh, was overcome. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. Ten. There we go, Jesse's found the middle now. Nine. Okay, we got uh, tied score. Almost opened the door a little bit, take advantage of that. And sure. Ten. 
Ten. Jesse capitalizes. Back to back tens for Broadwater. It looks like it was uh, just in his sight. I'm happy that it wasn't right in the town. Ten, ten, ten. Great shooting from Jesse. Three tens for Jesse Broadwater here and, and, and turning on basically pulling the same sort of uh, stunt that uh, was pulled on him in the first end uh, sure by his is. opponent from South Africa. And it's nine. Oh, there we go. Yeah. And you know what? You talk about turnabout where He's the archer from South one Africa one. had that one point and now he's looking at a deficit here after two ends. Match. Yep. Jesse settled down now and, uh, and put the pressure on and it seems to have affected uh, Gabriel a little. Jesse's shot 59 of a possible 60 points here after six arrows of play. Still plenty of more to go, but uh, but nonetheless, uh, things have changed around a little bit in this contest. Uh, and, uh, Gabriel finds uh, uh, Seppi Sillia's uh, fourth place at the uh, Commonwealth Games in Delhi last year mm -hmm. in, his, uh, in his corner, which is a good person to have there. Some people have coaches, some people have uh, teammates. What, what do you prefer as an archer? Um, I kind of like my teammates uh, because uh, I shoot with them and they know me. Yep. Uh, so, you know, they, they get to know my shot timing and how, if I'm holding on a little long or, you know, if I'm doing something just slightly different. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, yeah, I prefer a teammate in the box, I think. That's a really good point because, uh, you know, they've... Uh, They've been there with you, and uh, and uh, you know have shot alongside you, and, and more than likely in that very same tournament wherever you're participating in. Sure, and it's a friendly face, and uh, and that's always good to have. 59-58 is the score after six arrows of play as we start this third end. Semi-final matchup. This is matchup number two. The winner of this looking to face. Uh, the surprise winner of semi-final matchup number one, Christopher Perkins of Canada upsetting Rio Wild of the United States of America. Okay, the radar's a little off at the moment for Badenhorst. Let's see if uh, Jesse can capitalize now. Ten nine liner, it's in. There we go, that's two points up for Jesse. Momentum continues to swing in favor of the archer from the United States. Ten, nine, letter. Ten. Okay, and Jesse's being pretty relentless now. These arrows hitting speeds of close to 280 kilometers per hour. Good comeback from uh, Baden Horse there, finishing with two tens for that end. So a total of 29 out of 30. 10, 10, 10. 10, 10, 10 for Jesse Broadwater of the United States. Holding a two point advantage now with that perfect score of 30. Score as we stand right now is 90-87. But I believe that is incorrect because it is is it a two point lead or is it a three point lead? Yeah. yeah. There you go. We take a look at some of the highlights of the previous end where. Jesse Broadwater of the United States of America goes 10-10-10 for a perfect score of 30 and increases his lead here in semifinal matchup number two. Holds a two-point lead. 88-87. We 
The archer from South Africa will shoot first here in this end. And he does just that. Almost seems to be the theme of this match where Bradenhoist will miss that shot and and, uh, and Jesse will jump all over it and uh, chip away and add on to his lead as we've seen uh, more evidence there with those first shots. <laughs> Badenhorst has already dropped four points, which is more than uh, either of his, uh, either of the the other two semi-finalists earlier today. Um, so one four eight, one seven. So he's going to find it tough to come back from uh, a four-point deficit. Gold medal matchup is. Oh boy. You saw the reaction from him there at the end. It's almost like he released it and knew that, you know, this this isn't going anywhere good. I, I think what happened was he was probably aiming right about there just as his release aid went off and you saw his front arm try and push the arrow up. Yeah. And he knew he wasn't aiming in the right spot, so. It's almost uh, when you're in those situations and you're on the line, you see Jesse there shaking his head, thinking about that last shot. Sure, I mean, uh, Baden Horse could actually pull a point back here, so. Because yeah. you, you almost look at that sort of situation, and, and you know, sometimes, sometimes you just kind of know that. See, there's his reaction right there. You almost know that, you know what, something went wrong, and I knew, I knew it was happening before the target actually was hit. Sure, but with these bows, the arrow's long gone before the arch can actually re react. So he's, he's moving his bow arm up. Arrow's already halfway down the range. Yeah. So it would have made no difference. No, exactly. We're about to get back underway. This is the final. But folks, this uh, this contest has gotten that much tighter between these two competitors, and uh, right now, as it stands, it believe that Broadwater hit a nine on that last shot, uh, holding a two-point advantage at 118-116. So, all indications point to that. Uh, you know, he's he's chipped away at it a little bit, but nonetheless. Uh, Still that two point edge. Sure. Three more arrows to go. Almost seems like a little bit of uh, uphill battle. Yeah, I would expect Jesse to put a 30 down this, this end just to seal the deal. Ten points. Baden Horse not giving up, so that's a good sign. Ten. Jesse responded with a 10 of his own. Good positive sign after his last arrow of the previous end. Sure. It's you, just a blip. Yeah, exactly. You, no. quick, you quickly forget about the, uh, the slim mistake you made earlier when you, when you put a 10 next shot. Two-point lead, last arrows for both of these athletes. That's a great finishing arrow from Badenhorst. USA versus Canada for the World Cup. Jesse Rodwater of the United States of America, successful here in this semifinal matchup. Wins it by two points and punches his ticket to the gold medal final where he'll face surprise Canadian Christopher Perkins, who, if he's gonna claim a gold medal here at the World Championship, is gonna have to do it against another American. Sure, I mean, Chris Perkins, I think, has got the uh, high score out of all four of them with a 148 in his semi. Uh, 
and he'll be facing Jesse, who just shot 147. So it's going to be a tight final. And who will have the uh, nerves to deal with it? We'll find out later. No, exactly. It's uh, going to be a fantastic uh, finish to this competition on here, uh, the Saturday version of the World Championships here in Torino, Italy. It's uh, been a, a very good championship so far, and it promises to get even better as we creep a little bit closer to the bronze medal matchup for the